Hello guys, today I got the Fractal Design Venturi HP 12. Now these fans right here, they really call my attention because, well, they're from Fractal Design. And Fractal Design doesn't have a good reputation when it comes to fans. A lot of people say that these fans don't last a long time. I hope that these fans don't give me that experience since I'm going to be installing it to my custom loop that I'm doing currently. Uh, the fan is 120mm, uh, uh, the maximum RPM is 1800 high pressure PWM let me go ahead and open them real quick in here so we have a splitter PWM very nice that's very cool four screws you see that right there and here we got the fan let me go ahead and get it out there it is you have to get the whole thing out of there and then the fan slides right out all right if you're asking yourself what is that well this is a mosquito repellent it works okay so here are the fans they have a very good design I like the fact that they are all black okay that's a very cool design let's do a sound test live sound test okay so here I got the fan I thought these fans came in with a silencer silence adapter and they don't so here are the fans a full rpm That's 1800 RPM. And of course the fans are not going to be spinning that fast. Now, the fans are a bit loud. Well, not really, but you can hear them. But as long as they give me plenty of static pressure, that's all that matters. I can put in an adapter. So here's the sound of these fans. Another feature that I like of this fan is that it has the rubber mounts for vibration, for anti-vibration and these rubber mounts come off. Look at that. So I might do some painting on these fans. Take a look at that. That comes off very easy. And my question is for what though? But anyways, you know what guys? Let me go ahead and install this fan to my water cooler. Alright guys, for this test I am using the all-in-one cooler solution from First Player. It's the RSS240, it's a very good 3200 RPM pump, very, very nice. And I have to say guys, if you're interested in buying it, let me know, I can make it possible for you to get one. I also have a review on this water cooler here on the description, check it out guys. Okay guys, so I am here, uh, let's go ahead and run the test. I have to say though that the pump is running at 3200 RPM, very good speed for pump from a first player. So if you're interested on this cooler, let me know. I can make it possible for you to get one. But let's go ahead and test these fans right here. They're supposed to be good fans and stuff. But you know what? I have not seen a performance test. Now this right here is going to stress my CPU to 100% all the way on my 4.5 gigahertz uh, overclock. So let's go ahead and start it. Okay guys, so I am back. How many minutes did I test the performance? 18 minutes right here, okay. So uh, the cooling fans, they're staying around the 1600, 
1612. Add the statics. Let's check the real temperature. In the course, it has gotten up to 79.83 maximum. Now, that is very impressive, only running to fence. I have to say that the fans are not that loud. So, take a look at this here. My overclocked, right here, 19 minutes. Now, you know what? Let's go ahead and run a gameplay temperature. Now, this right here, it's the average temperature of maximum CPU. This is like the maximum to test how good are these fans. But the CPU is not going to be running at 100% all the time it's just not it's just not going to happen of course it's not so let's go ahead and run some gameplays and let's see what happens okay guys so here i am i have been playing tomb raider for a little bit now for about 10 15 minutes and i you guys can see right here the temperature you guys are seeing that my cpu doesn't even hit 60 it stays under 55 while playing a game you guys can see the temperature of my uh, GPU and the frames per second as well and how much of the GPU is being used. So you guys are seeing that right there on the top left corner. And I have to say something, guys. These fans really do a good job. My question is, how would it be with four fans? Pull and push configuration. I have to say one thing, guys. This all-in-one cooler from first player, it's a very, very good water cooler all-in-one solutions so if you're interested on that hit me up let me know <laughs> let me tell you something it is better than the h100i i have to say that the rpm of the pump it's at 3200 the rpm of the pump of the corsair h100i it's at 2200 i believe or 2500 but this one is 3200 now look at those temperatures yeah with only two fans so the final verdict, are these fans worth it? Let me say something, super, super worth it. Now, if you want to buy these fans, don't hesitate. They're very good. Also, you can check out the Fire Rose fans from first player. They're very, very good. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, Creeper, why you're mixing these fans with this cooler? I do that all the freaking time. With the Corsair H100i, I never use the stock fans because they suck, they're loud and they're annoying. Uh, probably the temperatures are good because they're static pressure fans, but I don't like them. They are too loud. And even if you put a sound reducer or like low noise uh, a cable for the fans, they still make that rattling sound. So I don't like that. So for the longest time, I have been using the Corsair SP120's Quiet Edition and then the other ones, the Performance Edition. But now that these new fans came out like the fire rose came out very very good fans uh, these fans came out right here that's the reason why i bought them because some other youtubers reviewed them and i said well i need to get my hands on these fans because as you know i am a big big old fan of fans that makes sense yeah did i really say that yeah i did i am fan of fans yeah more details and specifications of this fan is going to be down below in the description. So thank you guys for watching my video. I hope that you liked it. If you're thinking of buying these fans, don't hesitate. They're very good fans. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.